Back. Oh, I see. And then... Get pumped, get dumped. It's the voicemail dump truck on this Thursday, April 4th, 2024. That's right, the dump truck has entered its April arc, and I am glad to be with you on this fine afternoon. Joining me for the dumpin' and the pumpin', Jeff Grubb. How I'm are doing you? what now? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You are contractually obligated to do both of those things at the same time. All right, fine. Nikki if I must. Grayson, how are <laughs> Hello. you? Hello, I'm good. Thank you for being here. You do not have to dump or pump. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I like pumping. Yeah, yeah. Pump. pumpers like yeah, who pump doesn't? It up. Pump it up. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. Uh, and finally, pump. last but not least, Turbo Sean. How are you, sir? Re last week's dump truck. The correct answer is Crystal from Star Fox, Rouge the Bat from Sonic, what? Felicia from Darkstalkers, and Gardevoir what? from Pokemon. I know oh, no this... fur, but oh, right. along the same lines. There. Wait, Wait so are these naughty... all the lizards that you want to fuck? <laughs> yeah, <that's the> <laughs> listen, listen. I, if you so were there, if you yours. were there, you know. It, listen, this is a blasphemy. Jan is a Lapanese sicko, and he's trying to deflect. He doesn't want oh. people to know. He doesn't want people to know, but he is on record. I have the evidence. He is a mega Lopany fan specifically because it looks like she got yoga pants. <laughs> I, that's the reasoning. Honestly, we were about yoga to... pants are my kryptonite. So sure. I don't know what to yeah. say about I, I, that. I'm, I'm with Jan on the overalls. That's that, I'm like, yeah, overalls get me too. Um, before the show was about to start, uh, uh, one Turbo Sean mentioned that he looked extra Patrick Klepek today, and now I can't not <laughs> Dude, see it. Really, now I can't really, not uh, see it. Really <laughs> you really yeah, do. Yeah. That's crazy. That's yeah, crazy, yeah, right? Yeah. So did did you you see, I'm same smart. Tree? I'm smart, and I shaved. So yeah, yeah. 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 You God just got the advantage there. You just get in the barber's chair, and you're like, "Give me a, a clap. <laughs> Give me the clappy. <laughs> Give me the clappy. That's what I ask for. Yeah. No, I'm clippy, I'm, clippy, I'm clippy with the clappy. <laughs> I'm excited today. This is uh, this is my inaugural dump. I've never dumped before. No way. Uh, never uh, once in my life. So uh, Nikki, have you dumped? Yeah, I've dumped a couple times. Yeah, a couple yeah. times. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're dumping good. Dumping ain't new. I will say, dumping ain't new. Thanks. You know, dumping ain't new. Everybody can dump is what yeah. I've learned. Old dumps. That is that was the original show title. Uh, everyone dumps. Um, <laughs> it just didn't have legs. Um, yeah. So if dump has legs. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's you don't want it walking that away. If you that Taco Listen, Bell. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot I need to discuss at the top. Uh, yeah, selfishly, sure. I use the top of the show as a means of therapy on the yeah, off absolutely. weeks that I do not meet with my of therapist. Course. Of course, uh, which is every week. My, well, no, I know every other week, and I unload all of my emotional baggage onto you. While we are a dump truck, after all, we've got the space. Um, so back at uh, PAX, I didn't talk about this with with you all. Some of you know this, some of you don't. The listening audience has no idea. I napped for the first time. Oh Whoa, yeah, Whoa. that's right. Yeah, that's big. It did happen. We yeah. it was it was this was a big to do. Uh, beforehand, we were all giving our our advice, and Bacalar was like, "This is too much. You, the, you guys, yeah. you, this is all way too much." It, it, it just was a conceptual like disagreement <laughs> yeah. within your soul. Uh -huh. Like yeah. I watched you in the middle of the conversation be like, "I don't think I need this." <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like I don't need this information, but then you did it anyway. Yeah, I think so. What we have here, folks, is a situation where like I. And and to be clear, still believe I am above napping, um, but mm, and maybe crazy thing to say. <laughs> and maybe like one day, you know, uh, in my like early seventies, I'll turn the corner and be like, you know what, napping's all right. I'm back in. Let's go. Like I don't know, but um, I, I I I was against it. I was above it. Because I can't reliably do it. And that's okay. the thing. Uh, it's maybe sort of why I also don't like cats so much. Because it turns out I'm allergic to them in a big way. They're also demons. But that's besides the point. Lizards, I cannot nap reliably. That's so different. It's different. The cats thing in the nap Yeah, I just like to sneak in even, punches where I can. Not even related well, at all. I, I think it's we say this like, 
he he's bad at napping so he so he goes around saying i don't like napping and he doesn't uh, cats make him allergic so he goes around saying i don't like cats and uh, he said that these things are uh there are got, underlying oh, symptoms that he's not uh, acknowledging uh, God, when, he, when he says things like, i don't he like he doesn't it. want people to gotcha. know he's weak okay sure, I, I think, I sure you're lying it, it works yeah he works it. backwards like, he's working <laughs> yeah. backwards from like the thing is not good for him so he says yeah i don't like it so Got it. Whatever. So look, uh, I I napped uh, on purpose. Right. Cypress and Chess has yeah. skill issue. That's what that's what we're talking about for no, both the cats and no, napping. No, it's not. You can't say that because that <laughs> it's is, illegal you for you to say that to me. I'm just <laughs> saying because like it's fucked up to say that because you are. It is a. It is like a mental traffic thing, right? Where like you need to be able to possess the ability to like turn it all off. And I have a tough time doing that, especially yeah. during the waking hours. Yeah, I but mean, I, I grew into it for sure. Like I had to, it was something that I practiced because see? I also used to not be good at naps until I was like, I would be less of a raging bitch mm. at six o'clock sometimes <laughs> mm -hmm. if I was yeah. able to take a nap for 30 or 45 <laughs> minutes uh -huh. in the middle of the day. And I, then I like got good at it and now I'm normal. I Mostly. think uh, Grub might be able to relate to this one. Uh, just get way too fucking busy, and the second you hit the pillow, it's like, well, I'm done. Yep, exactly. Oh, yeah, just turn off. <laughs> oh, that's yes. that feels dangerous too. Oh, it's cool. Well, we're walking fire. a oh, fine yeah. line over here. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, there is not, no net down there. I'm not interested in burning the candle from both ends. You oh, know? Like, man. <laughs> I don't recommend it. What other choice yeah, do you have, some... though? I mean, capitalism. Am I right? Come on. Man, oh, oh, so, oh, yeah. Well, I've, I've not since uh, tried doing it, but it was really a, an adventure. I yeah. Did it feel good? Well, I think I only napped for about seven minutes. I th there's um, literally nothing wrong with that. I think that right. I, you're like saying that like that as if that's still not a nap. That counts. That's it does. That that's counts. real. You got some sleep. Yeah. A little, a little kit. Can you benefit? You obviously can benefit from laying down and closing your eyes. Like it's restorative in a way, but actual entrance of the sleep zone right where you do cross that barrier like that is not something you, you can achieve just by relaxing right like once you enter into sure. the sleep zone your body enters a state where like there's controlled breathing and it's like this mm -hmm. meditative thing <laughs> man i it's crazy i got I, you know i was just sort of like watching tv and then i like heard things happening around me but didn't have the power to address them. Like I heard my phone buzz and was like in a state of, of sleep where I was like, I can't touch that. You're sleeping now. Mm -hmm. Is that what Whoa. napping is? Parents? Uh, is yeah, that a little bit. Is? I mean, diff that's part of it. Kind of, yeah. I've definitely, I'm I have also, that all the time. I have that like, I'm, like when I'm like on a plane and I'm like not trying to fall asleep, but suddenly I am falling asleep. I still hear everything. A lot of stuff is getting in. Uh, uh, but, and I'll be like, no, I'm, I'm awake. I'm awake. And then I'll be like, talk to Steph later. She's like, no, you were snoring. Like you were fully asleep. I'm like, yeah, oh, really? I like heard everything you said. Yeah. Okay. And look, I'm very uh, self-aware. I know I'm talking about naps where like, in a way that like Dan would like not be able to understand chocolate milk, right? Like <laughs> it's that kind of thing, right? It's so obvious. And okay. I'm, I'm aware this is new uh -huh. and exciting for me. But yeah, I just need to talk about my nap adventure. Uh, Beckler, did you see who was basically trending on Twitter yesterday? What the hell does that even mean? Basically trending. Uh, okay, what does like mean? It, it's, he was he was trending to a degree. Like he was. I don't think he was like a United States trend or something I mean, like that. At any given point, I assume you. <laughs> well, okay. Now I'm not. We're not. I don't. Want, I don't want to talk Give about me that because no, I don't know. This show's not about that, Sean. I don't want to deal with that here. How dare you? <laughs> uh, Give me a hint. Uh, yeah, he's a dad. Oh. Well, that uh, narrows it down. He's like uh, giant bombs, canonical bad dad. Oh, oh, bad like bad dad Paul Riker. Paul Riker, mm -hmm. it was popping really? off on Twitter yesterday. For, for real? What, what did he what? do? Uh, did he like clip the biggest coupon? Like what happened? <laughs> uh, <s> someone <laughs> completely out of our it. scene was like, I thought about the boomer dad playing The Last of Us again because a long yeah, time ago, Dan Riker and, and Paul Riker sat down to play video games and Paul Riker's controlling The Last of Us and he's like, 
if I wanted to play a, or if I wanted to watch a movie, I'd watch a movie. Let me press a button. Let me press That's a button right. and like bring up Ken Griffey so I could play as Ken, Ken Griffey Jr. or whatever <laughs> as he's playing The Last of Us. And everyone's like in the comments on Twitter. It's got like thousands of likes now. It's like based it's literally me. Yeah. Uh, th- th- yeah. This guy, he is right. This guy knows what he's talking about. Uh, it is really happening right now i I knew you wouldn't know and i knew i'm like i'm gonna save it for the voicemail dump truck how does that make you feel to know that paul reichert is based yeah cool it's fine like (laughs) let the whole place burn down while we're at it like (laughs) that's why we're on the trajectory trajectory we are on it's also really funny because under 30 is somehow now like some psychopath like uh (laughs) reanimated boomer from you know like what the fuck uh uh, like you know, dance in the video, and he's kind of in a position where he has to defend the the Last of Us. Is like you know, this is you don't think there's room for like cinematic storytelling, which is not Dan's position at all. Uh, but no. everyone in the comments is like, the son is so lame. <laughs> he's so, he's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually because, a great tweet, the great thread. It everyone is good. Go read it's it. very funny. <laughs> yes, but the problem I have with it is that the, it seems like the majority of people are like defending this in oh, a they, very they real think way. Paul Record is is again yeah. very based. Yeah, they're like, yeah. oh my, yeah. He he now represents anti wokeness. <laughs> <That's what, laughs> <that's what> <laughs> right? Like, I'm sorry, but that's. I don't know if the shoe fits wear it. I guess. What do you want me to tell I you? Yeah. It, it is. It was just really surreal to see that popping off. Like, and I'm like, uh, like a friend was like, "Hey, this guy's my spirit animal." I'm like, "You don't want that. You don't you want, don't want that. Paul Reiter you do to not be want that. that smoke." No. <laughs> yeah, but like, so when? Ugh, that's what's really upsetting. I think in the last three years, this happened. Right, where like all of a sudden a huge uh, portion of I don't know maybe it's just like the online population, but like people identified with Paul Reichert in a way that is very bad. Yeah, you know, and this this little minute long clip makes it very easy to be like, yeah, no, he's got a point here. I, you know, hey, listen, I fully agree with Paul Reichert in this. I clip. agree with Paul Reichert. I do. Yeah. I can't help it. I have to admit the truth. Yeah, I think it's just like dangerous how sort of wide sweeping the implications are is all. Oh, like, oh for real. I think you could start with this, but what's next? Yeah, yep. exactly Slippery right. Slippery slope. I think, yeah. yeah, I think everyone can, any reasonable person can find a modicum of like similarity with what Paul is sort of saying mm-hmm. here. But then when like that's who you vote for in November is what the problem I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I just get. Paul Riker is place. literally very liberal, everybody. He's very he is, liberal, to be is. fair. All right, so now, now what are you gonna do, freaks? <sighs> what do you think of your idol now? I wish I could find my my bumper sticker that says "My kids are not poggers" with Paul Riker, and then ha- make another one that says "My dad is based," and then we we'll just yeah. put them both together. <laughs> That's pretty good. My kids are not poggers is an incredible bumper. Sticker. Yeah, it's very yeah. good. I wish we had more of those. My kids are definitely not poggers. I'll tell you what is <laughs> your poggers. kid is poggers though. Yeah. No, Dib is, and so is Fortnite because yeah. Yesterday I played two matches with my son mm-hmm. and some other small child, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> did, did okay, I have Dib a lot of questions. know the small child? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so listen, is, okay, okay, okay. Right. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> let's back up, let's back up, let's back up. Okay. Hey, don't, don't clip that. Listen. <laughs> listen. Uh, so we have friends who live in Maryland and... Uh, Rack about it, dude. Yeah. Cool. What's that? <laughs> It said brack about it. Yeah, That's I know. So it's Maryland. Cool. It's no big deal. Whatever. Um, Where is that on map? I don't know. If we're not oh, playing that game. Oh. <laughs> you don't want to lose to the king, to the winner. Oh, I would um, lose. I was terrible at geography. No, I think we somehow both lost that. Um, <laughs> so we, we have friends in, in uh, Maryland, and uh, the last time they saw each other, they were like, yo, we got to play Fortnite. And I was like, Dylan, you, you've played like twice. You're acting like you play all the time. Like you don't play. Like your friend Jordan clearly plays a lot. And he's like, yeah, I'll just figure it out. You, you just get me there and I'll just start playing. So we did it. He started playing with, you know, our fr- our friend's kid, Jordan. And they've been playing for like three weeks together. And it's been great. And Jordan has introduced some of his friends into Dib's crew. And now they have like five to eight kids that all play together. And... uh Dib is sort of like attached himself to like some of Jordan's friends, right? So like now he'll play when Jordan's not around. He doesn't need the mm-hmm. the, the friend there. So you know, I, I, that's where I found myself. Um, yeah. You know, uh, and you, you know, so Jordan. Your kid is making you friends with his kid friends. Exactly. And Jordan's dad, Justin, who's my friend, sometimes plays with them. But it's never. But then I'm like, oh wait, is that does that mean there's like moments where like 
Justin's just playing with Dylan. Is that weird? Like, I guess that's not weird. Uh, I don't think it's weird. No, yeah, it's, no, it's, not, it's, it's pretty it's, normal these days. Yeah. That's yeah, the, yeah. Like, exa- yeah. You know, I vetted the whole thing. Exactly. It's all, it's all good. good. If it's, it's all kosher, it's, then yeah, yeah, everything's you know, it's, cool. It's, it's okay yeah. to say things out loud that you're not sure about. Yeah, right? yeah, no, so, for real. Um, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We, could, we could talk it out. But I'm like, yeah. no, that, that all tracks no, with me. Yeah. That sounds pretty normal. normal. Yeah. Yeah, ex- exactly. It's totally cool. So uh, here I am playing with, uh, you know, some kid I've never met in Maryland, and that's fine. <laughs> He's playing with, with Dylan. That's the beauty all... of the internet, baby. <laughs> it is. Well, I, I'm, I'm well aware. There's the, the context there is what makes it a bit of a, a minefield, I guess. But um, and then And then the other kid's like, man... Dylan's dad, you're way better than Jordan's dad. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm like, all right. Hell yeah, yeah. Turn to and say, kinda... see, I told you. <laughs> so then I'm like, you know, I kind of like, I, I, I've only played Fortnite like a, a dozen times. I hadn't played it in a while. I was just sort of getting my bearings, right? And I'm like deciding, should I do mouse and keyboard? Should I do controller or whatever? And I'm starting to like, you know, pe- peel off the conversation a little bit. And then they like, I'm just listening to their conversation. And they're like... You know, the, the Jordan's friend's like, yeah, my buddy's dad owns a bit of Fortnite. And I'm just like, what? Okay. <laughs> what do you like, mean? Cool. Like a Web3, then, like token or something? And then, or? <laughs> and then Dib is like, and then Dib's like, yeah, my dad knows a guy who like makes <sighs> sure that like nobody cheats in Fortnite Hell and yeah. like he owns yeah. it too. Yeah. And I'm just like, you dumb little idiot <laughs> going back and forth. Uncle and Nintendo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Totally. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, this is ridiculous that you're, and I didn't say anything, right? Like, and then I think for a second, I was just like, oh yeah, that's not entirely true, uh, Dylan, but you know, I'm not going to correct you in front right. of Right. Yeah, here. exactly. Like, if he's in this. the ballpark, you get yeah, him. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't know if he's even in the same uh, solar system there, yeah, but like, he's definitely <laughs> kids are gonna like, say that shit. They're totally. Going they're eight, like, at a certain nine. point, like what's yeah. what's the point of embarrassing totally. them? Yeah, it's, exactly. They're dumb as fuck. They're like, so everyone dumb. Knows that. They're <laughs> so fucking stupid, and the things they say are so outlandish and gross. Not gross in like a bad way, but just sort of like way off. Target. Grossly negligent. <laughs> These children. Yeah, grossly, <laughs> but they are dumb. Uh, uh, my, yeah, my kids have, have unicorns r- chasing Kermit the Frog around today all day uh, with a. And the, Kerm- the the unicorn has a knife and a fork and is going to eat Kermit the Frog. This has been happening for hours. Yeah. So I believe what, it. That's what's happening in my house. Yes, okay. Nikki uh, from this Giant Bomb. Dumb. Hey, you know, okay, first time, long time. Um, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, describe is, that. Is it Unpack a stuffed that. animal? Yeah, the like, unicorn is a the... stuffed animal. It's a big stuffed animal, okay. and it's a stuffed Kermit mm-hmm. the Frog. And one okay. kid has Kermit, and the other one has the unicorn, and she's holding the unicorn's paws. And in one paw is a fork, and the other one is a knife, like a like a butter Got knife. It. Yeah, um, like, like a, yeah. little, little kids, like toys, but like utensils, Working and nice. they're just running around in circles for hours, and then they come to be like, "Which oh. team are you on? Are you on you Team Unicorn or Team Muppets?" And I'm like, oh. "I think about Team Muppets. I don't want my boy Kermit to be eaten." And they're like, "Yeah, everybody's <laughs> on Team Muppets," and then they just run away and they keep <laughs> at it. And that's why I was going oh, yeah. poop earlier. And so that yeah. owns. Yeah, that's that's what's that's happening. Kids, in my man. House. That rules. Yeah. That sounds sick. It's good stuff. Yeah. yeah, I want that. I want that energy in my in my life. Yeah, it, keep, yeah. it keeps you young. I think. I don't. Know, I don't know uh, what it's doing. I, I think it can. I think like. Yeah, I think. <laughs> it not can. in your case, but it can. <laughs> no, like I, I'm in a weird place now where like I'm. I feel like. I feel like I'm past the crossroads where like dad's the coolest, and now I'm headed in the other way where like. Hey, right. maybe you back off, Dad. Maybe mm. you don't walk side by side with us. Maybe you peel yeah. back a little bit. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting there. I I, I don't know. Or I'm but if you keep that. carrying him in Fortnite, I think. Oh, I didn't carry. Like <laughs> the friend carried both of us. Must Hell be, yeah. Must be, must be okay, honest. so here's what you have to do. I'm gonna fix your relationship with your son. You have to just get <laughs> really, really good at Fortnite and make it so that he cannot play Fortnite without you. Yes. Anytime that he wants to play Fortnite because you're the ringer, you come in, you so, win Fortnite. Install every some time. cheats. Let's go. Y- yeah. Well, I'll say this. Call, so the, like, call the cheat guy that you know. <laughs> yeah, you know it. that, dude. <laughs> no, <laughs> I do cheat. You do have a friend at Epic, and like, it's not, but it's not like that. Well, uh, maybe you could do something for me. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's 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 on spring break this week, so like mm-hmm. he's playing mm-hmm. fucking four hours a day. It's nonstop, yeah. and he'll ask me at eleven a.m. Dad, can you play Fortnite? I'm like, what? I'm like, no, like, 
Um, Can you make so some I money? I still feel like he he just wants he wants me there now. So that feels important. That feels yeah. close, and that feels like a relationship he wants to bolster, right, and and cultivate, and, and that's cool. But. Yeah, as long as I can keep up with him there and still kick his ass in hockey for the next, I don't know, 18 months or so is what I'm yeah, that's pr- what you got. Uh, projecting the, the, the amount of time I have until he's better than me. Mm. Um, I'm good. After that, I yeah, can die. For sure. You, you know, can I just, die. I can die. I guess I'll die <laughs> that's now. That's the end of the road. Huh. <laughs> you know? Does he like the waterbending stuff? Does he, does he understand what the avatar is? All right, you're... The... Okay, got it. Oh, wait, so is next... Avatar's in Fortnite? <laughs> yeah, dog. Right it's all now, in Fortnite. It's <laughs> oh, he's he's all about like the the Greek gods and stuff. Like he likes yeah. that stuff. Oh, so so at, Korra also in there now. And he, he's been playing bending. as Korra. He's been oh, playing really? as Korra. Okay, so yeah, so there then you and then you get the water bending abilities and that shit's OP. Oh, that's and there's so much stuff in that game right now that will just kill you instantly, which is, I mean. It's sure. it's Tough it's luck. fun. Like I'm I'm yeah. Fortnite's a great game. I know that's not it's a great game. News, but it's, it's a good, good video game. It's real good. So yeah, he's playing Hades uh, as Hades. You could play as Hades, right? You mm-hmm. could be that. He's still like a battle pass kid. He, look, whatever. He's he's cool. Well, what level is he? I think he's like sixty three. What the fuck? Is that a lot? I, gotta, I don't think that's not. Yeah, he that's did that high. fast. He did that fast. Yeah, I gotta yeah. get. A, child job so yeah. can, <laughs> you have a spring break oh yeah, chat you... just brought up something that i didn't even consider are they doing are you doing no build or are you doing like og uh we do we switch back and forth like in okay. the beginning wow. where i was just get, getting my bearings in the menu i'm like okay let's jump back into this like what what do we do this is a circus it's so much better laid out than uh call of duty like yeah. it's not even close like call, like call oh, of duty just navigating into menus notes. oh yes oh the yeah, menus just, yeah, the take, act take, of oh, yeah. using the video just, game just lift it yep. from fortnite yeah. Woody, just, yeah, yeah. just steal the menus well, it said they stole yeah, from hulu last, yeah. yeah yeah last <laughs> night i was playing called i was playing warzone with my buddies because they brought back the good map rebirth island and we were super stoked for it because we do rebirth island resurgence so that's the mode that uh did we play i think we play where you have respawning it's yeah so it's really map. fun mm-hmm. Yeah, it's great. But it took us like 10 minutes to get into the game because they're like, how the fuck do we even get into this mode? Yeah. It was a nightmare. It's nuts. Yeah, I mean. It's it's also nuts because like Call of Duty has more shit in it than Fortnite does. Or no, sorry. Fortnite has more shit in it than Call of Duty does, but it is harder to get to the very few things that there are in Call of Duty. Right. When I like tried to install call of duty when we did it for upf oh, for at that. the end of last yeah. year it was like it sucked it was I actually thought I was buying a car yeah yeah, yeah. That's, like, that's the thing in terms of like the actual stuff that's buried beneath the menus there's a million goddamn things going on in that app yeah. like you can download the old call of duties you can install it's parts insane. of the modern call of duties it's too much just go back to how it used to be man you're not you're not bringing people in by shoving everything into one app. the call of duty app <laughs> <laughs> So it's dumb. crazy, I, you know, but it's fun. It, you know, I, it was funny because I was like, oh, you know what? We we won two in a row. And also, yeah. well, it's been easy. Why is it so easy? Why am I just Oh, it's because you're playing against fools? So I'm not playing well, against I mean, How old is your account? Mine's brand new because I just, oh, yeah. he's been using mine. Oh, yeah. That's you're what playing against. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're he's playing against other bots. kids. And then, yeah, you're, no, you're but, like, treated in the, like a but, kid because he's new. Thing, Oh, but they but they seem good. Yeah, yeah, yeah so but even it, at, it'll mix it some bots like, since you're new, I think. Yeah, the, your first handful of matches, the way that it's so interesting, actually yeah. the way that they scale the number of bots that are in the game. Yeah. When if you're a new account, it is like 75 bots, 25 people. Yeah. What the and that number f- that I'm number tell them scales. That. Don't tell, tell them that. Yeah, <laughs> but that number that. scales depending on how long you have been away from the game, how yeah. long you have been playing in the current Does session. Really? That wow. number cool. will get smaller. Yeah. That's smart. Um and like it is it is variable how many bots there are. You can always tell if they're a bot cuz the like the usernames will be like fork and knife. Yeah, or I guess I wasn't like paying very, attention like, to that. Yeah. But I but um, I was like something's not right here. Like Yeah, it's it's know. a lot of bots. And also because the game knows how old you are usually or or like based on like your the rest of your play styles, it will also modify the number of bots. It's so sure. it's so smart. It's yeah, so no, smart. No, I believe that. Cool. Yeah, but yeah. All right. 
Well, that's what's happening uh, in my life. Does anyone have any other stories or, or lessons learned from their week that they I'm going to look share? at the sun on Monday. Ooh. That's huge. Directly? Ooh. Directly, yes. Yeah. For about three but, and a half minutes while it's in the pat, while it's to oh totality. God. Yeah. You've got so much totality. Yes, it's like Did uh, you get an embarrassment. Glasses? I got the glasses for like the before and after. But yeah. during the totality, I could take the glasses off and just raw dog that fucking sun. Raw dog the sun. You should fly, do you have a drone? Fly a drone during I did win $10,000, and I've been thinking about buying a drone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, been thinking about, drone. I've been thinking about buying a drone. <laughs> do that. Uh, yeah. Is, is um, the DGI, DGI like mini, like the $500 one, I don't have enough money to go like get the $1,500 so ones. Sounds like you, have, about, you do have the money for that. <laughs> you do have that money is, what, is very explicitly what I heard. Um you want to get one that had the mini four question mark you want one that because I, I fucked up my mini three by yeah. trying to fly it down a hallway when i was a little drunk um <laughs> i think the but mini you four, want one right yeah you want one that has like the min the one that i had only had sensors on the front yes. to tell it if it was going to hit something like this you want like coming directly direction. at it yeah. you want yeah you want sense you want as many sensors on it as okay. possible so whichever one is the cheapest with the most sensors side to side because otherwise it'll you can just run it into shit and it yeah. won't know um which uh, is a bummer when it happens and you're kind of drunk you go so are we saying get a drone like... so i can get closer to the sun <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, uh, okay. technically no, you'll be closer you know to the what? sun, but like... actually, it will be cool because what happens is um, the 360 degree sunset effect happens during yes. the moment of totality, and I'm like surrounded oh. by trees and houses, yes. so I'm not going to be able to. And we're not going to like we're not going to go anywhere because it's going to be a nightmare here. There's like a million people coming in, so sure. flying yeah. that thing up to like actually see that that might be legit. Um, I'm gonna do yeah. it, and I'm only getting 90 percent uh, totality. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm Which gonna is go still for it. good. Right, 90s not bad. Uh, 90s, right? listen, you're fine, but listen. 90s if, great, Jeff. If you're 90%, yeah, how 90, far away right. are you from totality? You're probably like an hour and a half, two hours from like drive. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm probably more, I'm probably like three or four, but yeah. like, you know, these cosmic entities are quite large and you sort of like have a lot of play room. 90 is good. 90 is good, but totality but, is, you know. But, but totality, it, okay. You know, if you're close enough like to get to totality, it's, it's worth status. it. But do, like, if you're like at ninety percent, like backlog, and you're like going to just deal with that, you're going to be, you're going to get something very cool still for sure. Yeah, I I'm, wonder I'm how dark shit. it. You're not getting shit, right? Yeah, I wonder how no. dark it actually will get because I remember the last time around, we had like maybe sixty, and it was like barely noticeable. But ninety is more mm. than sixty, so yep. this will be fun. Oh yeah, um, I could put the video on the website, and then backlog has to expense it. That's right. That's how it works. That's yeah, like we'll buy, law. we'll buy your uh, content. We'll license your drone <laughs> eclipse content. Buy the drone, yeah. yeah. Cool. I have, um, yeah. yeah, the one I have is omnidirectional ob uh, obstacle avoidance as well, and that has saved my ass many times. Yeah. So, it's, get that. there's nothing. There's nothing sad. Like it was one of the saddest things. I I felt like a child who had broken a toy. Oh, yeah. like and, yeah. and it was so like it was such a feeling that I had not had since I was 12 where I was like so thoroughly a mistake that a dumb mistake that I had made had resulted in the the break, mm. like the fracture of this object and I was like it's I still have it broken I like don't have the courage to call DJI and be like hey hello <laughs> I broke my dwon I need I help so <laughs> dwonky wonky my I got a little dwonk broke my dwon <laughs> 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 Drones are fucking cool, man. They're so sick. They they okay, now I will say the I'm on the DJI website now, and they do have. <laughs> what if I just Klarna the this shit? It can take. They have that, what? Don't do that. I'm gonna Klarna this. It shit. has. It just says raw some photos, and I don't think you should be allowed to put that. Raw some. That's. <laughs> oh no. Oh, although, can you although, raw, do you get it? Hey, I don't yeah. think he's gonna listen to this. So when he gets back, everyone asks Jan, "Hey, did you get any awesome photos of WrestleMania? <laughs> all right, just just pelt him with that. All right, this is Slivin Part Two. Yeah, yeah, Slivin yeah, Part awesome. Two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He just quits on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, if that's it, we'll get back yeah. to the conversation at hand because, as you can tell, this is clearly a call-in show. 707 oh, 
exit flu is our telephone number. I'm very excited to see if people reply to the call to action that we put out there uh, last week, right? Which was, what was it? I, I want, okay. I didn't want to, I didn't want to like re litigate this, but like the whole new England map thing really put me in a bad mood. <laughs> and I was very upset that like all these freaks who were clearly wrong, like I, the, 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 the speed in which people came to race to come to Dan's aid about like, yeah, I'm a dumbass too. I don't know where any of the States are. <laughs> was like so was so annoying. Like specifically one person on Twitter triggered me in a way that I just like, I just like closed the laptop at 3 yeah. p.m. and called it a day. Damn. I was just like, I can't be around these dumb bitches anymore. I, I, I just like, I gotcha. you should not be proud that you don't know where Delaware is. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Like, don't be proud of that. You yeah. Know? Well, no you one's saying they're proud of it. Nice. Just, just, no, just... but these, some people were proud. They were like, yeah, it's it, it, like someone used the phrase "rite of passage," which almost means like I have a freebie like zone. Like I, it's okay that I'm, you know, this like uh, ge geography freak. Like I, it's cool. You're not cool unless you're dumb as fucking nails. Like I don't know what to tell you. Uh, anyway, uh, I had a call. To, I wanted to know how people felt about that part of the country i know it's a mishmash i know it's like a weird jigsaw puzzle up there yeah. i get it but it's also mm. not bad it's like seven states okay it's not crazy but it's anyway. gotta be more than seven states Here's the thing, i don't uh, that for a second jan picked the voicemails but there is one just straight up fucking called delaware do you want me to play that and just get it out of the way yeah i guess i, I guess let's just let's just burn that one yeah let's hear it all right let me off. let me just double check the audio levels for everybody real quick and we'll, we'll restart if it's not let me know if you guys can hear it right away Oh, that's the wrong thing. Nope. That's the wrong thing. You definitely heard that, though. Oh, yeah, okay, well, you definitely should have heard that. Wow. Uh, yeah, this is William from yes. Portland. Uh, nobody knows where Delaware is, and nobody cares either. That's it. End of story. Which See? Portland are you from, bud? See? There's like definitely a pride Oregon. there. Because if you, listen, if, if homie was from Portland, Maine, he would care. Yeah. Like, he like would the, care, way, right? the way yeah. that... A certain somebody on this call cares because he's from the East Coast. Uh, I don't care about Delaware. <laughs> I don't yeah, care, seems about like Delaware. You care about Delaware. Couldn't care less. Couldn't care if Bugs Bunny came with his big saw and sliced <laughs> it off into the fucking Atlantic Ocean. I don't give a shit about Delaware. Now, okay? what kind of shape would that make? Because I don't know where Delaware is or what it looks like. So, Delaware has like a weird sort of like rounded head in a strange way. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to say it, Jeff. Between North Carolina and Maine, nobody knows what the fuck's it's going on. It's a mess. There, dude. Nobody knows. It's a mess. That's not the, true. If, if, we're not, if we're not from there, we have no idea I know what, what New York looks like. There. I know what like, the whole state of New York looks like. And, that it's mm -hmm. kind of, yeah. and, then, yeah. and then I've heard enough times that you can get to Philadelphia really quickly from like places like New York uh, and Boston. So I'm like, that's that not is correct. I mean, sort of. Oh, well, so like Pennsylvania is like, define quickly, it's America. P P well, yeah. yeah, quickly as, as far as America is concerned, yes. Uh, so like Pennsylvania has got to be like right there. And then, and then after that, oh boy. I mean, look, I, I think, I, I guess more it's like the candor of everybody. If it was more okay. like, what a, what a beautiful disaster it is up there. You're right. I don't know. But no, people are coming in and like, nobody knows anything about geography. We're all <laughs> dumb as fuck. And that's super sick. And I'm just like, <laughs> you could tell the tone of that caller. He had that. He was like, yeah. nobody can't. I was like, fuck you, man. Now, here's my thing. In sixth grade, I learned where every country in Europe was. And then... A year later, they fucking changed it. Like, no, Czechoslovakia is not a real thing. Yugoslavia, yeah, do that. Get out of here. And I'm like, what? Why? Why did I do that? Why did I learn oh all that? God. Now all that's You're that now just useless. It's in flux. It's You're in flux, so though. You're old, dude. Yeah. Europe's yes. more in flux. <laughs> we just had a a water cooler trivia uh, at work in our Slack, and it was like this country like broke apart in 1993. I'm like Czechoslovakia. I know that. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> I, I know exactly what that country is. Why are none of the states round? Round. Um, yeah, that's a great question. What is okay, wait, one what, state would have to like go around? And I that's bet we give okay. What do you guys? What do you guys think is mathematically states. the roundest state? I'll look this up. I bet there's an I answer. Ohio. Ohio. 
floor? It's probably Ohio. Oh, yeah, 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 if, you, if you consider like I a think it's, rounded I think it's ho- square. No, it probably is Ohio. Oh, Hawaii. I, have this, I think your question Hawaii? is this. In which state could you fit, like, it, it could a perfect circle take up more of the area of the state? Right, like in which that's, that's probably like one of the ways you can figure this out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Method, if that's what your question is, it's pro- the answer is either like Texas or oh no, it's probably one of the rectangle, perfect rectangle states too. Like um, yeah, like a Wyoming, Wyoming, or Colorado. Yeah. Right, it's probably oh, man, one of those, um, around country. Those bad boys. What's that country that's inside of South Africa called? Oh, Sierra Leone. No. Um, uh, hold on. No, 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 Nauru. Lesotho. 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 Is it Lesotho? So that close inside right. of South Africa. Yeah. We got to get more of those guys in the United States. Ooh, a meta country. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty sick. Anyway, uh, thanks, Delaware caller. Thank you, caller. Even though you had nothing but very upsetting <laughs> things to say. Dang. Uh, we will turn to Nikki Grayson for the next voicemail. It's a, it's a Jet Triangle. <laughs> Perfect. Where, 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 where is it? There? Where is this Death Triangle? Oh, right there. I'm, uh, right, I'm it's alphabetical. alphabetical. Oh, it's alphabetical. Oh, it's in the sleep up in the gallery hole. Is in it? In it? Uh, I've got to do a triple threat match with with those uh, custody those in the gallery hole. The uh, Death Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we rewarding him? I don't know. <laughs> I would not have played that. <laughs> what was even like the joke? I know he does. It's that he was British drunk and he called terrible. the voicemail. And that's it. That's it. And the, yeah. and you're talking about the death train. It's a wrestling. And you thing, know right? what? It was yeah. very funny. It was, it was really fucking. If funny. the audience is laughing half again. as much as we are, yeah, <laughs> that was worth it. Oh man! Good job. Th- thank you, caller. Yeah, thank you, caller. I Thanks, hope your head injury you improves. You <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, you can't bill us for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sean, it is your turn. Okay, I might be the only person who knows what this means. If it means what I think it does, uh, Lotus Juice. Hi, this is David from Roanoke, Virginia. Um, I have a question for Jan. Jan, um, I've been playing a lot of Persona 3 Reload. Um, are you Lotus Juice? Because every time I hear Lotus Juice, all I can think is you. I, I, I picture you singing me the songs. Other guys on the Giant Bomb crew, have you ever seen Lotus Juice and Jan in the same room? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, so Someone yes, I, I am the fill-in here. Uh, in Persona, Persona 3 is known for, every Persona is known for a different musical style. Persona 3 is rap, and Lotus Juice is the rapper on all the songs. In Got Persona it. 3. Oh. Yeah, so if you've heard any of those Persona 3 songs where like he's rapping away, that's the dude. And yeah, that's 100% Jan. Although I know Jan doesn't particularly like the rapping that's done there. It's it's you don't a, have to um, like the stuff that you make, you know. That's true. That is hella true. I'm an editor. You don't need to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. it, it it is a uh, a native Japanese speaker rapping in English, so I think that's part of it there. But yeah, it, it's very chill. They're all vibes, which is 100% Jan. So I see where this person is calling is uh, coming from in their call. Okay. I feel like I learned a lot. Yeah, that was a yeah. lot of information in a short period of time, but I'm. I'm into it. I'm happy we all are wow. better because of it. Uh, can you What's guys up, just, give, give me, just give me a second while I get something set up here. Just a sec. Just keep. Oh, okay. Vamping. Are you? Oh, he's. Oh, see, so you know what that means. When he, you guys, yeah. when he yeah. says yeah. that, he's yeah. planning something. Yeah, he's terrible. got a bit. Yeah. There's something that's gonna happen, and we're Do you all think gonna it's like be a trans- like a visual. We're all gonna have to deal with the fallout of whatever the hell he's cooking up here. It's the problem is that we are now the punchline. In a joke sure. that has yet to be written. That's absolutely true. Yeah. Are you going to give us like a heads up? Grub, yeah, just like, be like probably like 30 more seconds. 30 more 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Well, you were supposed to go time. next, so I guess I, I, I can't this is go, there we go. We next. Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, you good? Actually, good. Yeah. Let's, uh, oh, What's no, happening? Uh, we're gonna call. We're gonna call somebody. All right. Let's see here. What? Oh. No. Wait. Huh? Oh. Wait. Is, is that allowed? Wait. It's a call-in show, not a call-out yeah, show. The, 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 the dub 
you guys hear that? Go one way. You guys hear that? Go one way. Yes. Okay. There's an echo. Oh, there's an echo. Okay, hang on. I'll see if I can fix it's that. Fine. It's, it's fine. Maybe me or all of us. Everyone. I didn't even think this was so allowed. Loud. Chat, do you still hear it? Echo. He's, he's not gonna answer. Are we calling Where WrestleMania? Yeah. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person Ooh, you're careful. trying to reach is not available. Uh, he's a, he's a tone, he's Braca, he's please Braca. record your message. All right. Fair enough. I was going to we were call. It would say his number there, you think? Is that what you're worried about? I, I don't yeah, think well, so. can. Sometimes, sometimes it's like, it does. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes it's like, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, good to know. Wh who were you calling? Oh, we were going to call Janet Cho, and we were going to ask him if he's ever been in the room with Lotus Juice at the same time. That's Got it. Uh, wow, look at you. That like, may have happened at one point. Yeah. That would be sick. On the Lotus Juice at WrestleMania? All right, let me I'm sure it. he's a big fan. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, yeah, can you call Lotus Juice? Yeah. Do you have Lotus Juice? <laughs> uh, I'll see. Let me see if I can get it here. Just give me a second, everybody. All right. Uh, in the meantime, uh, let me make sure this is still going to work. I'll go with uh, full spread. Okay. What's up, dumpers? I walked into a dry cleaners recently and I saw a full spread of takeout food on the front counter. My question to you is, if you walk in and that is the first thing you see, do you solicit their services or do you back out and go somewhere else? Thank you for everything you guys do. And, and thank you, caller. You, caller. Eat. Thank you, caller. They got to eat. What? This was a dry cleaner, did they say? Yeah, that's, what's, yeah. that's what they said. Okay. So... Okay, so I'm I'm trying to imagine this. You walk in, you got your dirty yeah. clothes, and you're like, or you're yeah. picking them up, or whatever, and you're like, you just see a full spread. Deli yeah, I th I mean, look, like, why is that not okay? Like, what what they are, gotta eat? The, I right? think the assumption there is that they're like handling food and then handling sure. your clothing, which well, you wouldn't want. Well, whatever. I would right. argue it's dirty already. Exactly. I would argue <laughs> that, like, if anything. Uh, it's it's the perfect place for that because all your clothing is wrapped in plastic anyway. So like, yeah, whenever yeah. they're touching your naked clothing, it's on its way to being cleaned anyway. Yeah, they're gonna clean it, right? So you know like, if it's still wet. Well, I think the fear is that they may in some way handle it. Sure. After it's clean. Sure. I think that's, I think that's fair. That's a fair concern. But yeah. you know, I mean, if look, if they're not eating in the front, they're eating in the back, and that's fine. Like, and you're okay yeah. with it. So let's go. I I I'm like fully thinking that this makes me more into a place. If it feels like people, like human yeah, beings, sure. like they're yeah. there yeah. and like yeah. they're like doing their own thing. I'm like, okay, these are my people. These people I, I can like jive with yeah. in, in a way. So yeah, I, I find it more welcoming. I There's think it only... depends on the yeah. vibe of the place. You know, if it's like a mom pa joint, you like expect that kind of thing. If it's like, yeah. uh, if you have a chain of these places or something, that might be a little weird. Cause then it's like, oh, well maybe these people don't really care about what they're doing. Maybe it's not going to come yeah. out great. Maybe, but, but it, that, like, maybe it's like, that, that's just these workers like taking ownership of the place and yeah. be like, Which is I, I gotta eat. What do you want it's from fair, me? But yeah. It's like you're saying, Grub, like the Chinese restaurant I go to all the time. It's a family restaurant yeah. in the sense that like the kids are running around with their toy cars and shit. And, and, and that's 100% the Chinese cause... restaurant you want. Like if you don't that's go to a place like that, you fucked you up. Exactly. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. There, there's probably one place that comes to mind where I this would be a turn off, and that's probably like a, a lab. Yeah, right? sure. Like yes. Anyone, yes. anyone wearing yeah. a lab coat eating you know, a rack of ribs. Shit. Yeah. Like if, if I'm here to get blood if you're work, doing a blood draw, exactly. Yeah. That. If you're doing yeah. a blood draw and also next to you is a plate of food, triangle shaped yeah. sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like a yeah. bunch of ribs or yeah. like Tupperware, yeah. Yeah. Tupperware that's like steamed up. <laughs> and like, that, you don't want would... like yogurt getting into your, uh, into <laughs> yeah. your blood work. Blood? Right, no. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Your All cholesterol's right. off the charts. What's going on? <laughs> 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 They it's delicious. the loosest blood I've ever seen. <laughs> it's delicious. Um, <laughs> You're yeah, full fat. So there's a line. Right. There's a line. Uh, okay, I'm glad we all agree. Um, all right, very good. Thank you, caller. Uh, I will choose the next one, and I will choose blue cheese. Uh, exit blue motherfuckers. Um, I am with Dan. Blue mm. cheese is a horrible fucking abomination. People that like it are psychopaths. Let me, this, hmm. Think about this. Like, cheese? Give me a cheese, I'll eat it all, right? Except blue cheese. 
because blue cheese is just cheese that was at one point good, and some fucking serial killer decided to let it go bad, let it get mold on it, and then said, oh, it's great, it's a delicacy, because we're rich idiots, and we got to suffer, because we have so, like, what? What food? Well, maybe beer. But aside from <laughs> fermented drinks, how common is it for someone to take something great, let it rot, and then decide it's a delicacy? Like, the, the rich people have such miserable lives. Anyway, fuck blue cheese. Um, Brent, this, is, this is so uh, stupid. <laughs> uh, first of all, first of all, caller, I, I appreciate that you were very heated and in the moment you called in. Uh, the microphone is at the bottom of the phone. You might want, you might want to turn that one around next time. But, uh, uh, and also, saying, uh, Jeff? Uh, also, like the, the the blue cheese argument was like a real aside to Dan confusing yeah. ranch and blue cheese so yeah. frequently. That like, apparently yeah. for months he was like, yeah. had to scrape the blue cheese, which was actually ranch, off of his food for months, and he didn't know because there was flex, yeah. which there always are in ranch. I don't. I say flex because he said flex. I know that's wrong, but that, whatever the hell. That's it. like yeah, yeah, that's, that's like, how like, I would describe it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Flex, yeah. You know, it's, right? it's CKS, not X. Also, I don't know if we're confusing anyone there. But oh, guess, no, listen, yeah, 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 we're, we're not flexing. We're not flexing on ranch cheese. No, no, no. No. First off, first off, like I don't think anyone in their right mind associates blue cheese with affluence so like throw <laughs> that argument out the fucking window you big nerd number two okay isn't all cheese technically like yes old yes. and it's all, cheese. It's all cheese so yes. what are we motherfuckers like i love all cheese well guess what bitch you love all rotten shit i don't know what to tell you like we literally keep like th thousands of pounds of cheese in a cave and then we send yeah. it out to poor people and like that's just that's just cheese that's what cheese you, is it's just stuff that could sit in the cave for months at a time you just don't like the smell and or taste of blue cheese which to be clear is perfectly okay mm -hmm. but you cannot wrap your entire argument about a bunch of fallacies about blue cheese <laughs> Blue cheese is very defensive about this. I, I, I mean, look, I really like blue cheese. I think you can have bad blue cheese. Oh. I think blue cheese wears so many different hats too, right? Like sometimes, yeah. like I don't like it. I like it in the cream. I don't like it like I don't like crumbles. I'm not a blue cheese crumble You're person. Missing the crumble. I think when people serve it with steak, I find that very uh, upsetting, and I don't oh. like that at all. It's awful. Yeah, 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 that's, that's not for me. But like, they hate that with, conception. With, with, and people, people really love that. And I, I'm, I'm confused by it. But I don't think they're like affluent, you know, elitists. Also, the people at the front of the train in snow, snow piercer, just drinking <laughs> blue cheese. That's it. Did you remember yeah, that? Yeah, I remember from that scene. Movie? Yeah. Uh, yeah, blue cheese up front, bugs and babies in the back. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, no, no, like, no, I'm not falling for I'm not falling for this, Jeff Bacalar. Uh -oh. You know, you're playing us right now because every time we talk about you behind your back, which we do often, uh, yeah, it I is know. brought oh, up that you are the <laughs> fancy guy of Giant Bomb. Uh -huh. Yeah, but you are taking us for a ride right here, <laughs> my friend. Look, you can construct any narrative you want in your head there, <laughs> Ooh, Sean. Big words fine. there. Ten dollars. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Rich <I> words. <laughs> I don't base my entire, like, uh, you know, personality on blue cheese. Like, blue cheese doesn't define me in any meaningful way. Right. I feel right. like so. I feel like only people you, who... You enjoy it with a nice Miller Lite. With caviar, the the people. of course, with caviar. <laughs> I feel like only someone who is defined by blue cheese has had to say the sentence, I'm not defined by blue cheese. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Look, sometimes it's awesome when you say a brand new sentence that no one's ever said before in all of human history. And that is what we just did. I love... Give me buffalo wings and blue cheese all yeah. fucking day Absolutely. are you kidding me the I, best i i'm like uh i can run hot and cold on blue cheese but it, I, the one place i will eat it is with buffalo wings consistently yes that's that's always oh, pretty yeah. good although these days i'm just raw dog in the, the buffalo wings no sauce at all other than the buffalo right, wings. Hey, sauce. With other with than the buffalo truth, sauce that's fine yeah hmm. yeah if i come across a buffalo a buffalo pizza buffalo chicken pizza well oh. there better be a spiral of fucking blue cheese in the middle of that pie right like, let's, what are we doing? Yeah, you want, what are yeah. we no, doing? No, because cream in that pie. Sucks, yeah. But that's okay. What's that? All right. 
No, no, we're just glossing over that. Moving on to the next one, I think. Yeah, sure. No, I heard, it's glazing. It gla it's yeah, glazer it's pie. Glazed. Um, in chat, uh, one Mike Minotti did say he loves blue cheese, and then he said, "Surprising." That's such a surprise. Right. I also. That's why no, I'm bringing it up. Right. And then he said he loves it with steak. So, so it's yeah. kind of offsets yeah. it there a little bit. Yeah. Do, you, do yeah. you like the you like the uh, the crumbles with with steak? Like that to me, like that's just a bridge too far. Like I, you know, I, again, I'm fine with it. But man, it's just yeah. The second you put the apples Mike... in the salad, though, I guess we're all bits are off. <laughs> yeah, right? Mike, would, Mike would love apples and cheese so much. Yeah. If he opened his mind to it, like nah. the fact that the fact that Mitch can't enjoy prosciutto and pear. Oh, oh that sounds Ugh. so good right now. Holy and, shit! And prosciutto what did and you melon. just say? What words just came out of your mouth? Step, I don't understand those. Steph just brought home those prosciutto, little prosciutto wraps prosciutto? and cheese from Aldi yeah, just it's today. The best. Yeah. It's the best. Wait, what do you mean, Sean? What, what, what are you not getting? I just don't know prosciutto? what you said. But prosciutto and something. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Wait, are you. He said prosciutto, right? Yeah, you prosciutto? never heard of prosciutto? What was the other thing? And pear. That's what pears? he said. Pear. Pear. The fruit. The fruit. The pear. fruit. Pears? The fruit. Pear. You're mixing your meat with your fruit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. that sounds real good. Oh, you gotta live man. a little. Uh -huh. You gotta live oh a little. You gotta be like some Mike Minotti, John Jesus. You you haven't had a fucking a ham sandwich with some fig jam on there. Oh yeah, goodbye. goddamn. This is weird. This is so fucking yeah. weird. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my okay, God, then wrap dishes. all the prosciutto around melon I all day. I don't make like a federal case about this because it's a really old conversation. I'm legit just curious. Pineapple on pizza, Sean? Yeah. Okay. Fine. Yeah, okay. not all the time. But it's, yeah, it's, it's a similar thing. It's a all similar the thing. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All the time. You got your sweet and salty there. Yeah. 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 It's similar. Don't try and act normal, Sean. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, Sean just tried to assassin Creed back into the crowd. Like, <laughs> I'm acting. Everything's super dope. Super yeah, dope. Yeah, bro. I'm talk. acting poor as fuck because I'm young. That's why I'm acting. Super, super dope. Normal food talk. That's me. <laughs> We're, we're all here good. just talking about food. <laughs> just talking about putting some meat with my melons, you know? Normal Thursday afternoon, right? Yes! Yeah, prosciutto and a fucking cantaloupe? Fuck me up, oh, that dude. That does sound good, too. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Prosciutto oh my goes God. good with a lot of stuff, though. So That's the thing weird. about prosciutto. Yeah. Prosciutto's oh, great. It's, all prosciutto's like, awesome. it's so stringy yeah. and soft when you get the real good shit. It's basically yum, yum, just yum. if salt became a meat is what prosciutto is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. That sounds Speaking so of then, bad. Yeah. Do you? Oh, okay. So they, I already know the answer. Do you put salt on your watermelon, Sean? No. That's why? Oh, I, I didn't know that's okay. a thing. I didn't do. do I've you, never done that. Oh, oh. Back on. I also you're don't like, like watermelon. Your summer but... is about to be. Com oh, you don't like watermelon. Well, no, but I'll try man, it. I'll know? try it. It's so good. Do you do tahine, Sean? I don't know what that is. I don't know what, I know what tahine is. You Taziki don't know sauce? what tahine is? Yeah, it's good. No idea. It's like the sesame you sauce, don't right? Know. Yeah. No. I don't know what tahini is. No? What is tahini? No. Tahini. The it's more like all three of you talk, oh, the, sorry, sorry, sorry. the more it's normal like I look, by the way. That you put on fruit. Yeah, I've had that. It's very good. Sean, you not knowing about oh people oh okay, people spelling like... it out yeah, yeah I know I know never mind no, I still like... don't know oh it's broken my brain a little bit it's I've had that yes spice absolutely mix consisting Tahine predominantly of lime chili peppers Absol and salt it's lime chili pepper Absolutely. and salt that sounds really um, good and then you what? fucking put it oh yeah, I've seen this before I didn't know those are fruit lady. yeah you put that shit on fruit you can put that on mango it fucking bangs on mango. Um, mm, what was fruit, I thinking fruit. with the sesame sauce? What was I thinking? That is, I don't know. It's, is I it, no is it maybe clue. Greek? Tahini. Tahini is sesame. Yeah. Is that what I was thinking? Okay. All right. Very good. I feel great about food. Uh, so we're going to let the chat choose the next voicemail. Uh, also, if you really feel bad about food, tune, tune into the next week's episode of Voicemail Dump Truck for a real food roller coaster, everybody. It's going to be a good one. Why? What? What do I? Am I aware and just forgetting? Is that, I think it's next week, right? Isn't that when we're having uh, food yeah, reacts? Food guy. Oh my god, that's right. Holy shit. Holy chef, shit. Reacts? Okay. Yeah. chef reacts. Chef reacts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The two oh, weeks. I figured out. That's no. two weeks. That's right. We, we spins right. It's two weeks on the 18th. That's right. That sounds familiar. Okay. We'll, we'll remind everyone again next week. Yep. Um, chat's turn. Chat chose, I believe, hot tub. All right. Let's go right there. Hey, dumpers. Um, so every year, my my friends and I, we, we have like 20 of us, we go and rent a, a ski house off-season. 
and um, play tabletop games and video games and so on. That's cool. This year we have a hot tub and a sauna, and I'm wondering what are some games that would be really funny to play in the hot tub? I'm thinking Kirby Air Ride, um, but whatever you think of that would be funnier than that is is cool. All right, thanks. All right, so you play Sound Marvel Mouse. versus Capcom 2, and only the players get to be in the hot tub. Everyone else has to sit outside until it's their turn, so winner gets to stay in the hot tub. There you go. Have a good time. Oh, I, that's good. Yeah. Huh. There it's, are 20 people in this house. Yeah. At the same time, which is You're not crazy. fitting in that hot tub, by the way. <laughs> like, just, yeah, just to be clear. It's going to be four max, right? So maybe that's why they suggested Air Ride. I do think that you should gamify being in the hot tub. Yes. Because there should be a penalty for being bad at the thing. You can call it the hot you, seat. You getting... Mm. Oh, that's good. It's not. That's really Thank good. Thank you, though, Nikki. No, it's good. No, it's good. Yeah, but, like, being in the tub's not a penalty. Like, you like it. Being outside, yeah. it, that's what... But no, you want to be... Yeah, yeah. is... Right. That you maybe are cold? Yeah, you maybe you're cold. Yeah. yeah that's if it's off-season, though, isn't the implication that it's, like... It's, it's still good. I mean, down. if they're doing it in the next couple of weeks, it's probably still going to be pretty chilly at night. Yeah, I'm 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 surprised that like everyone's going to video games and water. Rabble. Like what? Like it, why? It, yeah, I it, assume they meant like Marco Polo. Yeah, and like, shit. I wow. assume some sort of floaty. Th like I think it might be fun to do. Like here's what you do. Here's what you do. Yes, yes. Oh, here's no. what you do. Oh, okay. The they make these in. little. Yeah, right. They make these little. I got. I have a hockey game tonight. I gotta get psyched. Uh, <laughs> they um. <laughs> it wears off right before I start. It's great. Um, <laughs> they make these floaty coasters. Yeah. Uh, I would get you a Dixie cup and I would fill it up with water and I would put it in the floaty coaster in the bubbling hot tub and then you have like a beer pong obstacle course. Oh, sure. Like that's that. Huge. And that's like that. okay. interesting. Big. Do you think the hot tub is? Uh, like ten by ten, six but by six. But that's why it's six funny. By eight by eight, because something like you that. You wouldn't expect no, that. You have yeah. to shoot from outside the tub. From outside the tub. Yeah, yeah. that's what I oh, think. Okay, I was gonna say because if you're if you're in the tub and then the all like I feel like there's not gonna be enough space. I feel like we are not considering the sauna. Yeah, enough and I I, I got here. a request a sauna. There you go. Sauna. Sauna. There you go. Sauna. 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 I was gonna say, Nikki. Yes, the sauna needs to be brought into this, but I don't know because a sauna's pleasant. Um, it's complicated. Yeah. What if you did all of the Mario Kart tracks mm -hmm. and were in the sauna the whole five hours? <laughs> five? <laughs> Can you imagine what Dan Reichert would have looked like in, in that scenario? Just melted dumb. Goddamn Apple. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really, I mean, I hate to say it, and this isn't going to come as a surprise, but like, I don't like any, I don't like being in those things, uh, but, but I'll still, I'm happy to come up with a, an idea for it, right? Like, is that a Schwitz? A Schwitz is a sauna for okay, sure. Okay, okay. But, um, I don't like a Schwitz. It just means, it means just like sweat, right? I know, yeah. like, I, I, in a, in a hot tub, I feel claustrophobic. I feel like, uh, I get, like, I get pressure in my body from the heat, I think. I just can't do it. I don't take do you run cold shit. I don't run hot. I enjoy being cold more than I enjoy being hot. Run hot. And and I, um, you know, when I uh, uh, shower, I guess I'm probably taking like a 96 degree shower. And I know I feel like people take like 110. Like they're real. They run it really hot. I just can't do it. It feels heavy on me when I'm in a in a hot tub. And even in like a warm, like a heated pool, I get like that too. I don't. And I don't need help sweating. <laughs> I could sweat pretty easy no. on my own. <laughs> like, yeah, you just think real hard. Uh huh. You know? Exactly. Yeah, the brain, the brain just gets going, and then I'm start so sweating. Try to place the states, and then yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, and the idea of like, oh, you know, extra sweat to get those pores extra clogged. No thanks, I'm good. No, but the sweat's you. It's coming out. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, again, like I'm sweating detox, enough right? that like I get a buildup of sweat, and then that causes like real unfortunate swamp ass. I don't want to deal with that. Uh, I also don't want to be naked not... in the sauna. I don't. Well, don't. Be naked in there. Well, I'm not going to go in there at all. Is what I've decided. Oh, that's well. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a, there's also something about a hot tub that feels very close to like a wicked witch's cauldron. Sure, you are being Probably bubbled the heat. and cooked, right? And it's yeah. not hot enough to be like, well, we're getting rid of all the bacteria. It feels like the perfect temperature to breed more bacteria. <laughs> that's the right. thing about sure. hot tubs. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, right? Like, this is the perfect boiling point for, like, Petri dish creation oh, shit. Yeah. We, yeah. we did do this. We went, to the, we went to the cabin uh, as a family with uh, me, me, my wife. My wife. My wife. Right. And the two kids. And uh, we, we had the night where we, yeah, we all, we all got in the hot tub. And that was, that was really fun. That was really pleasant. But it's, like, after 10 minutes, 20 minutes at the most, I'm, like, already done. So, I... I I, I do also wonder what it, what it looks like. Are you going to bring like a CRT down and put it next to the yeah. hot tub? What, what are we doing? Yeah. Why would it be a CRT? Yeah. I just like CRT, Play Sean. Picto chat. <laughs> picto chat. Everyone's got their own just DS. Just do picto chat. Just get a DS and just do picto chat. Hell yeah. And that's it. That's, God, the, whole, that's the whole thing. DSs are like the one like kind of cool console that's relatively affordable still. Uh, yeah. yeah, get like eight of those and that, that's a party right there. Yeah. Interesting. You can get them on Amazon. You can send them back. Yeah, Man. totally. Why is this wet? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Why are there so many pieces in like Picto that. Chat? That's just Picto <laughs> Chat. It just comes Jesus. that way. That's it. All right. Don't think too hard about that sentence. Also, <laughs> <laughs> um, when I uh, the last ski trip I took. I don't know what it is. The kids, man. The kids love the hot tub. They couldn't stay out of it. They just yeah. like needed to be in there. And I'm just like watching from the, I'm just like, this ain't right. Like these, this ain't okay <laughs> for children. Right. Like kids love hot tubs. Though. They love it. Yep. I made it's sure like, it was. What if a bath was cool? Yeah. 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 Well, I guess like put them in a, then put them in like a, a, a normal lukewarm bathtub with bubbles. Why aren't we, why aren't we doing that? It's not the same. It's not. Cause active. that's not cool. I, they, they, the kids I still think, think that's cool. I think. Oh, well. I think it's, I think it's yeah, more the bubbles part. than the heat for them. Yeah. The fact yeah. that there's a jet that is actively blasting. Right. Yeah, I think exactly. it's and then, like, you know, and they put their junk happen. there and they're like, this is the best. Like, yeah. that's, that's, what it, that's what it is. Yeah, you like, dirty little honest. perverts. God damn. Yeah, that's all it is for them. Yeah. They're like, you sit there. No, you sit there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that's. <laughs> put your butt on that. It. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> Fucking weirdos. If we're being honest. Fucking weirdos. All right. Um, time. To go back to Nikki for the next voicemail. Hit me with a big daddy's pizza, please. Yeah. Dumpers. It's Bobby from Virginia here. Um, I was wondering if your guys' high schools had any weird food that you can't find anywhere else. For example, my high school used to sell these Cheeto products called Fantastics that were like <laughs> chili cheese flavored Andy Katz hot fries, basically. Uh, they also sold Otis Spunkmeyer cookies, which were fucking fire. Yeah, those are good. They also sold something called Big Daddy's Pizza, which was also fire and just seemingly doesn't exist outside of the New Jersey public school system. Peace out, guys. Huh. So, Bacalar, do you think you know about this because of the New Jersey public school system? I feel like I would have heard about Big Daddy's Pizza by now. <laughs> I don't know. Seems Maybe memorable. this person was in South Jersey. Here's what I remember from my high school. Mm -hmm. They had this sort of like nondescript slushy machine. Sure. Mm. And it was like maybe like a, maybe the br the only branding on it was like a puppy on top. Is that the, the puppy with Icy's? Isn't that puppy of the Icy's? Or is that a yeah, pink? No. No. It's not that's like my hat, bear, right? right? It's like polar a bear. polar bear. Polar bear, yeah. Yeah. It, it was um, slush puppies. It, no, it wasn't slush puppies because I've I've seen that. I know okay. what that is. It's not slush puppies. So it's just a different it was, puppy. It was some sort of dog that like yeah. I'm looking at the slush puppy logo and this is not it. Okay. Yeah. It was some sort of dog laying in a in a like curled itself up and it was just spinning on top of the thing, and it was everything was um everything it it made no matter what the flavor was white. So you would have like. <laughs> A banana slush or cherry watermelon. They were, it was all white. It didn't matter. Like there was no food coloring, no nothing. And it was just weird. I don't know. It was some sort of knockoff. Yeah, I, I, that's that's huh. what I remember. And I never saw it anywhere else. Like that. Yeah, like looking like good. Yeah, we, yeah. It was good. good. It was good. It was good. You know what it was? It was it was like so you know like a snow cone can get like very icy and then you're just like I'm yes. just gnawing on ice. This is ridiculous. This was like wet in a satisfying way. If that oh. makes sense. Like not like Seven Eleven like slushy Like a water where, ice. It was situation. more water than ice. Yeah. Yeah. We got like some broken, decommissioned <laughs> USSR Soviet <laughs> ice machine. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> that's that's what I remember. We won the war. These kids are getting these ices. Let's go. <laughs> I just remember my my high school was 
fucking awful for food. We had just the worst slop every goddamn day or like something they would call meatloaf all the time. It got to the point where me and my friends were eating out almost every day because, you know, it was high school, so we could just drive somewhere else. And back in the day, the good old days where you could go to like McDonald's and get a couple cheeseburgers for like a dollar each or go to Fazoli's and get like uh in the spread sticks. bread sticks for like yeah three bucks like we could actually do that every day and not break the bank we just like spend our lunch money on that instead because it was so fucking terrible yeah i i um my mom was like no we're gonna save money so i'm gonna pack your lunch and into high school you're gonna start packing your own lunch but you're not getting money for school lunch usually so i did not have too much experience with the school lunch but yeah i definitely did the thing where we're like yeah now we can leave and go get our own we go to wendy's every day and we'd order off the, yeah. off the secret menu there. We're like, hey, put the chili and the fries together in one thing yeah. and give us chili cheese fries. And that would be lunch every day. And that rule. That's, That's nice. Yeah. I like that. I, my lunch situation in high school was definitely like go off campus, figure something out. And it would either be like a lunch that I brought from school or that was like peak $5 foot long era. So I would Hell like yeah. go get a $5 foot long and then I would have half of it for lunch and then half of it when I was still at school at seven o'clock for some fucking reason. <laughs> um, and then, but the thing that I think about the most frequently is that when I was in elementary school, LA Unified had these pandulces that were, it was more sugar than it was bread. <laughs> and I don't know how they like solidified the sugar such that it was puffy <laughs> and dough like, but it was so delicious. I think mm. about it constantly and I have not been like they don't make it anymore because it was unhealthy and bad to feed to children. But I, it's what I think about all the time. That's what I want. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Two things. I saw mm. in chat that Mike says that his mother made his lunch in high school and that's need to acknowledge this. <laughs> and, and that he had to have it packed because he was too picky for the school lunch yeah that's very, that's the least up, surprising thing i've ever funny. heard uh -huh. and now because i know that i have this image of like mike mm -hmm. going back home with to his parents house and like getting in his race car bed and just <laughs> putting on his footsie pajamas okay this and... does remind me of something important with mike uh so one oh. time someone asked if i was wearing if i had ever wear a flat cap and Mike's like, yeah, he does. He, he has flat cap. I'm like, what is he talking about? And then later I found out he was, he thought cause I wore a hat with a brim that was not bent like a, like a ball player. Right. Yeah. And so he's like, that's a flat cap. And I'm like, he like, and he, he commented it on the time where he's like, just bend the brim. And I'm like, that's not really the style anymore. And I've been thinking about, it's like, it's very boyish, right? To like kind of bend your brim like a ball player. Like I'm gonna go play baseball. Like Beckler, your hat right yeah. now is like you don't like you don't bend it anymore. Like because no. you're not gonna go some out and play left it, field some don't. later yeah. today. Yeah, it's like is it kind of boyish or is am I, am I off base there? It feels like kind I of like it just does. depends on the hat. It depends I on they the just hat. Came that way one way yeah, or another. They do. They, they do. do. Okay. So this yeah. so okay. We're also talking about a generational thing where I think in the late '80s to mid '90s. Everybody was like, "I gotta bend this hat's brim that I just." You gotta got. bend like, the fuck was, out of it. I am gonna that, go to town on this know, thing. They, yes, they would like. Um, they would take it and like almost fold it like, in half, put it in the back pocket. It. Yeah. No, they would like they would take the brim and bend it and then fold it on top of itself. Yeah. And that's how you would get Jesus. the the bend to yeah, stay. The curl. Yeah. yeah. Like you uh, would put like genuine the, genuine question. Was there an era where like ball caps didn't have? bent brims by default or like what's going on here probably when no they because out. now dad had you buy like dad hats and they all come pre-bent yeah dad right. that's that's yeah dad hats and that's like implying something there but they're called dad hats but if you get yeah. like well, any I fashionable mean, hat the brims come like only with a slight the slight bend that Bacalar has right there Sh sure. But I thought that was like a new er thing, you know, like more like I, uh, well, 2010 while, onward. For for a while, like new era hats were like all about the flat brim, and you were, and that was the style. Yeah. And that is still a style. Yeah. Like, I think, I think it's, I think hat fashion has just expanded. It's yeah. not like okay. gone in one specific. It's just sort of expanded, you know. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess we don't have a definitive answer there. Yeah, I, I, no, I'm, I'm accepting that it's it depends on the hat. Uh, that that does, sounds right yeah. to me. Right. I, yeah. I, like, I just I'm I not feel a little bit any hats anymore. Yeah, I, uh, when I get a hat, if it, if it like I'm not gonna bend it like I did in the '90s when no. I was wearing the like the shorts yeah. that the Michigan Wolverine basketball players that were wearing right. that went down past my knees and shit. Like, yeah. I, I, uh, that feels like of a time to me, and it feels like I, I would be kind of poserish. I'm like, I'm gonna 
spin the brim so much and I'm going to go out there and play ball. That's what it feels like to me. But yeah, like no one is deliber del uh, deliberately doing that anymore, right? Like where it's well, just like, I'm going to just take this. The hat kind of comes the way it's supposed to be now, right? In a way, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I mean, you're I not like so, making yeah. a modification to the hat. Yeah. But, but I, I, not everyone agrees with that. No, like, we're like your starter it. hat, the starter hat you got from uh, Sports Authority right. in 1991. Dicks, yeah. You were fucking bending that. Yes. Like you were bending that. You were shaping it. Maybe even like putting it, you know, in the in the dryer for a little bit. You know, like that's what wow. people did too. They're like little hacks, little hat hacks, you know. Hat hacks. Uh, I'm gonna make a I have make a, a lot of hats. Um, make a poll. <laughs> what's that? I'm gonna make a poll. Yeah. I I tr I started counting my hats the other day and I could not finish. Oh really? Dang. Yes. Oh it's become are you like a sneaker big? head but with Hats? No, I have like, a lot of you... sneakers too, Sean. <laughs> What's your favorite? What's your grail right now, bud? What are you trying For to sneakers? get? Oh, they already did a poll. Look yeah. at that. It was 22, Dude. bend it like Mikey, and 24, no. So, kind of even. Oh, of <laughs> course Mike did the poll that has his own name in it. Yeah, of course he did. <laughs> yep. There were the... I have... Oh, the, I said best brim. These... <laughs> oh, well, I'm bad at it, so let's go with Mikey's. There we go. <laughs> There were these uh, fear of uh, Nike fear of God low tops that I wanted because I have the high top ones. Yeah, the the uh, one the fog ones. Uh, they're like or all no. black. No, they're the raid. Oh, the raid. Ooh, yeah, I'm looking at them now. These are oh. yeah. These are they. Wild. Uh, they have like uh, I have the high top ones and those are good, but like I can tell I needed the low tops in them, and I feel yeah. like the low tops are harder to find. I just not yeah. nailed them down. I feel like I bought a lot of sneakers <laughs> at the end of 2019, and then I don't know, just didn't, just didn't like, something happen, and then I didn't wear sneakers <laughs> for 16 months. <laughs> you know, like is it weird that all the jeans and shit that I started to rewear are like barely worn 2019, 2020 no, vintage? Yeah, no, that's right. Exists. I'm more surprised that you like you did go back to the jeans because I am doing everything I can not to go back to the jeans. So, yeah, you know, that's actually come up a lot, Grubby. Uh, mm. We, you know, like, well, going to PAX, I was like, okay, maybe during the day I'll wear my joggers and, like, do the thing. But then at night, I'm sort of like, you know what? I'm a very traditional, like, black jeans guy. Sure. You know, and I just had to, like, rock those again. Black like, jeans there's look something, good still. Okay, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Give me a black jeans and a, and a hoodie, and I'm like, yeah, kind of in my zone, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. All right, very good. I like talking these things out with you all. Oh, yeah. Um, it feels good. All right, uh, we've got uh, time for just a few more. Let's go to Sean. Uh, there's some good ones on this list. I want to do normal human being, though. Yo, what's up, Dumpers? Hey, I'm listening to the newest uh, Bombcast thing, and you guys are talking about holding the N64 controller. Dan Riker, to answer your question, when you hold the N64 controller like a normal human being, which means not in the middle, you got to use your middle finger and your right hand to hit that Z trigger, baby. That thing, make, that you can fire hard and flip everybody off at the same time. My question to you guys is, what do you do that you consider normal to you, but everyone else considers weird, and they're idiots for doing it that way? Okay, <laughs> love you, bye. Wait. Oh, caller, I think, I think you. you're the idiot here. <laughs> There's like 10 I'm more. Sorry, well, no, but... That's what the caller's saying. The caller's saying, what's something you do that you think is normal to you, but everyone else thinks you're an Or you think everyone else is an idiot for like not doing it your way, even though mm. everyone else does it a different way. Oh, okay, okay. I so, think I still am fundamentally misunderstanding what caller is talking about. About the N64 so, controller? Yeah, but they're holding you're it. hitting the Z trigger with your middle finger? So, that's just wrong. No, so they're holding Where's it from your... the outside. They're not holding right. the middle paddle. On the, the wings, they're holding yeah, the wings. Yeah, oh, the they're wings. holding it the wrong way. So, yeah, but right, but exactly. Then, yes. But then where's the pointer finger? Uh, probably going On up, L, I would assume. L, which doesn't do anything in so many games. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah. pointless button, right? Right, so they're reaching, they're doing the long mm. reach up, up behind the N64. Can you do that motion one more time, Grub? Give, give it a little bit. How's your father? Yeah, they're, reach, yeah, yeah. they're reaching okay. around. Yeah, exactly. Damn. We're doing a little reach around and then uh, tapping. And then they, I, bet, I think index finger's not doing anything, actually, in this situation. And then they're, like, coming back around with a thumb and getting the stick up there. This feels real dirty. You okay? <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm like doing the motion. I'm like, it feels very familiar in some uncomfortable ways. So I'm just going to step back. 
I yeah, I mean, I know the question isn't about the N sixty four controller, but like even yeah. as a child, when I like saw that for the first time, like weren't you like me, Grubber? You're just like, well, this, what the fuck did they do here? Like, uh, no, because I was a complete freak, and I was reading every magazine uh, like uh, article uh, about it, and they're like, you like Miyamoto's like you hold it in the middle. So I was like, I'm gonna sure. go to the store, yeah. I'm gonna be a good boy, and I'm gonna hold yeah. it right. That's so uh, yeah. That's how cool this controller is. It needs direction. Yes. <laughs> I, well, I guess um, I just always assumed that like you would just switch off. I was like, oh yeah, it's different uh, control styles depending on the game i never yeah, really thought too hard about it and then that's exactly what, what the stick is yeah, yeah. I, I i think I, I think i'm ready to be one of these people who's like for no other reason than it might be fun to just be like yeah fuck the n64 like especially after the <sighs> dan doko pack oh, yeah. thing i i feel <laughs> oh, yeah. like i feel wronged by that console in a way yeah. that like i didn't yeah, deserve you should. The so like the trend is here though it just it's everyone's like that right now, Bacalar. Can I get anybody I, on my team? You, you <laughs> know, dude, you're you backing know. a loser. All I'm I got, a all I got is Dan Riker. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate yeah. it. I think it's fine. Thank it's, you, yeah, Nikki. it's fine. It's, it's fine, fine if you it's were fine. like, you know, if that's the one they had at the Toys R Us near you, that's fine. Uh, the the thing I do that is right that everyone does that is wrong and they're idiots, and I'm completely right here, is setting up the mirrors on their vehicle. Uh, yes, the side yes. mirrors. If you could see the side of your own car in the side mirrors, you have fucked up. You've, You've done, done it wrong. wrong. You don't need that. It needs. There's. If you if you ever say that oh, I'll, you're in my blind spot, yeah. you know you shouldn't have a blind spot. You've set up your mirrors wrong. Uh, that's someone who like did like fifteen thousand hours of driving as a delivery driver over time, and it took a long time oh. to dial it in. Uh, but yeah. you should not have a blind spot. If you do, you've done it wrong. Bro, I've never owned a car in my life. I know right. you're right. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff Grubb if you do, is my hero. Yeah, I'm here for you, Bacalar. Absolutely. That's huge. That yeah. might change my life. This makes it really easy to play your Marvel Snap. So you've, we've got the mirror oh, set up right. Yeah. It's because yeah. it's, it's all about it's safety, really, it's safety. what we're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> the fuck do you need to see your car in the rear view? What does that do for you? you yeah. Yeah. It's like. You, well, what if someone's coming? You, on the, the, your car? What do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it, it needs to be kind of be shooting off in that little zone <laughs> over there where here's what it should do. As soon as they leave your rear view mirror, they should show up in your side view mirror. Right. And then as they're coming out of your side view mirror, they should be out that window right there. So you could yeah. see yeah. them the whole time. You could track them the whole time. Uh, now, I will admit that fine tuning that obviously different car the first car. thing you do yeah. when you get a new vehicle or you're driving a new vehicle for the first time. Yeah. But with all these safety features now, with like all the, the oh, indicators, the yeah, your car, you don't, yes, yeah. you barely. Well, no, but like even new, like most new cars, or even cars made in the last five to ten years, like that's starting to be such a thing where I agree, you are doing it wrong, but also we've allowed robots to really fill in those. Yeah, gaps I do too. now have the, my my van from 2012. Now will be like beep if I turn on my turn signal and there's someone in the lane next to me, it'll be like, hey, yeah, there's someone over there. So it's like that's a that's a 12 year old car and it has that. So. You kind of don't ha have to do it to be like set up exactly safely. When you get in your motor vehicle, mm. does it feel like sometimes the mirrors have moved themselves? Yeah, but I know who really moved in. It's my wife. <laughs> it's me and my wife. Yeah. Um, well, Nick, <laughs> okay, Nick, did you so share your car haunted? with anyone? No. You share? Well, how old's your car? 2016. I remember okay. cars that used to have the joystick control for the for the rear view. This yeah. is really dating me. But sure. and, and I don't mean like joystick where it's electronic. I mean joystick like it's literally like yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Where it's yeah, like, yeah. My oh, grandpa and, had one of those cars. Yeah. Right. And that would and like wind could move the mirror. Like strong wind could do that. Mm. You know? But I like have, that was a thing. I've got the I've got the pad inside of the car with the yeah. switch. Nikki, when you and get, get in, in and I'm like just like do things like sort of because with my van, as I sit, as I turn on the, the the car, the seat moves up and the mirrors kind of move into position from like memory. Does mm -mm. your okay? They don't do that. Okay, and, just, and there's no like profile there. setting where it's like, oh, here's no. uh, driver one, driver is two. It, okay, no. hmm. is you're haunted. always the same. You're fucking yeah, haunted. Say, it's either a the obvious answer, which is ghosts, and b. <laughs> yeah. Are you are you noticing this the same time when you get in the car every day? Like, is it the first thing in the morning or is it at night? No, like, sometimes I get in the car and I'm like, my mirrors are not in the spot where they were. The I think it might just be I your posture. I think it might just be like where yeah, your posture is at for weird. the day. Right. Your your mm. spine is compressed some days. You That's know? good. That's good, probably then. Well, like, you know, if you measure <laughs> yeah. yourself in the morning, right? And then you measure yourself at night, you're at a different night, height. Yeah, right? you're shorter. Mm -hmm. That's right? why so all like, my doctor's appointments are in the morning. 
<laughs> just to like flex, right? Just yeah, to, to flex. Just to get your money inches. I'm eight feet when I wake up. <laughs> yeah, it's super sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to show off. I'm just trying to pad the stats, <laughs> you know? That's what I'm trying to do. All right, so I, I'll just, I just got to fucking sit up straight. Yeah. I don't. I yeah, think I don't, a metal rod in my spine would fix me so good. Yeah, Inst right. Oh, yeah. Inside your spine. Like if that was, yeah, yeah, or like adjacent. I guess it could be like on the outside, but like inpatient metal rod spine surgery would be so sick for me. <laughs> because, so like a splint, but for your spine. Yeah, and maybe I can I can take yeah. it out when I sleep. But it'd be able to, being able to pop that baby in and out <laughs> yeah. oh, in the, the, the daytime the from, would be the, so nice. The thing that Baron Harkonnen has in Dune, right? Just the the, the spine belt that like yeah, makes the him spine float. belt. Yeah, yeah. I That's want pretty that. Cool. Just put just put a metal rod in there. Sometimes <laughs> I think it would do me would do me right. Oh, I could get a corset. Yeah, it sounds cool. Good. There, there's like corset Change posture life. fixing devices now, right? Like the one that I, the one the the seven dollar one that I bought off of Jeff's big store, um, cut off the <laughs> circulation in my arms so bad that at one point I was working when I bought it last year and my hands were purple and I was like, oh, what's happening That's not here? Good. Oh. And I like for age, like I called my doctor about it. I was like, my hands are purple. And then she was like, has anything in your life changed? Like, do you feel lightheaded? <laughs> and I was like, no, I am wearing this elastic band on my shoulders. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> she was like, it might be that. So I took it <laughs> off and it, my the blood went into my hands again. <laughs> wow. Strange. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you saw medical help there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, all right. Well, I think we're close to the end here. Grub, you're up for the last one. Uh, yeah. And then we'll, uh, we'll we'll make our way out of here. It's been it's been fun this week, folks. Let's let's hear the last voicemail. Yeah, I think we'll go with the main bad guy. Mm. What's up, Dumpers? I just realized that Cortex, from Crash Bandicoot, you know, the, the main bad guy. Mm. Looks a lot like Jeff Grubb. <laughs> Alright, bye. You just realized this? <laughs> what the fuck? I did not pick these. Jan picked these. It I doesn't no feel idea that was good, coming. does it? It you doesn't know, feel good to be compared to a fucking know, cartoon, does cortex. it? Cortex. So let me take a look here. Look at him side I don't, by side. What the fuck? I don't spin wanna... image. Oh my god, that looks image. just like me. What the hell? Except for this dude's bald. N yeah, well... Yeah. I'm not gonna wow. lie, man. At first sight, I was like, "No way," but there's, there's something about the eyes and the nose. <laughs> it's the, it's the evil intent. It's the center sure. of its face. Menacing, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Also, the giant it, it, N on the forehead. And the hair. Yeah, that's, sticking yeah. Out. That, that's doing it for me. Is the big N. Um. All right. Well. I, I yeah. Think, I guess. That's I think you. when people draw you, it winds up being cortex. <laughs> yes. Like that's <laughs> that's true right? for sure. Yeah. Like, you know, if you, with all your, if you make, if you gave yourself like really uh, uh, sharp angles. Yeah. And these, I think it's, I and think these it's bags there, under man. his eyes, that looks right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have you two pulled up side by side right now. And yeah, it's, it's twinsies. Well, uh, wait, well Slayton Neo Cortex, Cortex, let's go. Crash Bandicoot's dad? What? Oh, what? How well, could that be? Did he fuck a bandicoot? Yeah, he's a human. What do you mean? No, he created him in a lab. <laughs> wait. So Crash is dad, a, like Frank. Crash is a, a lab. Yeah, he's a lab dude. A what? <laughs> Bandicoot. A lab Super close. <laughs> oh, he's a. Be still, my he's heart. He's a labacoot. Oh. Yeah. 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 You almost Navarro'd yourself there. there. To, uh, to you uh, almost <laughs> Navarro'd yourself. <laughs> oh, well man. then. <laughs> You really do look like him. I'm not like Yeah, I see. I, yeah, that's I, you. I think it's I think it's more of like you have to stare at it and be a little creative with your imagination, but it, like it's, it's there. The dark features on his face kind of match up with a lot of mine, I think. Yeah. 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 Even the eyebrows a little bit. Yeah, man. And like flowing hair, obviously you have amazing hair where cord. It's just because it's everything's like, like wild on this guy. Yeah, unkempt. Yeah. Sure. Unruly. Yes. Yeah, when you shaved your hair, you should have shaved your hair like this. Uh, next time. Mm. Next time. Let's, uh, let's yeah, talk about more yeah, Metroid and rumors. Time. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right, Wait, my little Crash's... slush puppies. Sorry, What's sorry, no, oh, sorry. Man, no, no, sorry. I'm sorry. One second. Is Crash's sister also Neocortex's daughter? What? What? 
like Crash metaphorically again, I believe. But Girl Crash Bandicoot. Is set... uh-huh. Yeah, there's Girl Crash Bandicoot. What's her name? Uh, his sister is, I have the wiki pulled up, Coco. Coco. Coco also Bandicoot? Lab. Also Lab. Oh, I God. think so. Uh, uh, yeah, captured and mutated by reasons. Neocortex. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yo, well, Crash Bandicoot's torso is so, so fucked, fucked up. <laughs> I it love is. it. Crash like doesn't exist. Butt. Crash's chin is basically his like belly. Yeah. Oh man, this is deeply up. It's a triangle. He has like human physiology squished down into like three inches and then he's just belly from the rest of the way down. Oh no. <laughs> I mean I was never a fan really. Like I think yeah. it's fine. We but... all know that you're really about Tana Bandicoot, which if you want to Google that real quick, T A W N A. Is that the one with boobs? I mean Yes. Well it yes. Is. Yeah. <laughs> Nikki. She yeah. is working with more body human body features. <laughs> yeah, that's I wonder why. crazy. Wait, who made her? Oh, yeah, this seems God. like same fan dude. Fiction. I would same assume. Guy? This dude. Well, Neocortex is very third lonely. Third time's a charm. Third yeah. time's a charm. Sicko. That guy should be in jail. <laughs> Nikki, have you ever seen any of the like uh, female animal like rare characters like Conker's girlfriend and stuff oh like that? Oh my god, yeah, upsetting to look like very I, upsetting. I, I think the human body is beautiful, <laughs> but like I do think that sometimes we fuck up. Yeah, like really bad when we try to make stuff that's sexy to the point yeah. where I'm like, I don't actually. I think we should all. No one should have sex. Actually, so, so Tana, the Mount Rushmore of of. We weirdly hot, not, not hot, but like trying to be hot Tawn. video game characters. It's Tana Bandicoot. It's Candy yeah. Kong. It's whoever the fuck uh, yes. you were just talking about. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Any who's the Tawn? fourth? Do you have another one? Is it, is it weird that Tana is giving me like Topanga vibes? I think it's what they were going for. <laughs> I think that's probably directly intentional, considering yeah. when and when and how. Right. Yeah. Seems. Yeah. It was exactly either right. you were either going to make a Pamela Anderson, Anderson or a Topanga, depending on your type yeah. back then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, okay. mm, that All might right. be a good call uh, from uh, chat here. Uh, hot Grunty from... Uh, <laughs> oh, from, yeah. from uh, hot Grunty is... Yeah. Yeah, from uh, Banjo-Kazooie, yeah. Hot oh, from Banjo-Kazooie. Mm, yeah, yeah. The, the, the witch. Okay. Yeah, when she gets no. hot... Yeah, Jesus Christ. she gets like absurdly I, hot. Considering you guys, oh what she guys, was before. we got, we have, to, we must, we must. This is this is back Wait, before but, video games got woke. Hear, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you don't want to hear about how the freaking woke mob came for Sony Computer Entertainment and canceled Tana because she was too pretty and too hot, and that's why Coco Bandy could exist. <laughs> <laughs> because of the fucking libs go, go the bandic- woke mind the lib- woke mob <laughs> god I think if we could just put that into a computer make it all say like like Rush Limbaugh or what's his name from the Info Wars uh, just saying that exact sentence that you just said Nikki <laughs> <laughs> the woke mob is why Coco Bandicoot exists that's what we need AI to be doing right now yeah 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 I can hit the oh, button whenever boy. you want me to, Bacalar. <laughs> yes, I hear. Yeah, I don't know how to pivot out of this. All I can say is 707 Exit Flu is our phone number. I'm sure you've got nothing to talk about for next time. I hope to hear from you all soon. Thank you, Jeff Grubb. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Sean. And thank you, chats and callers and everyone who participates. We'll be back with a brand new show next week. Give us a call. Tune in. Send this podcast to your grandmother, and we'll see you next week.